What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and this is Benji. And today we have a sweet practice that's gonna help you reunite with your breath. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. Let's begin today's practice lying on our backs. You can lay a blanket out if you want to today. Get nice and cozy because we're gonna stay nice and low to the ground, focusing on the power of thy breath. Come on down. When you get there, we're gonna begin in this constructive resting posture by bringing the feet as wide as your mat, nice and wide, and then allowing the knees to fall in so they rest together. Get nice and comfy here. <clears throat> Snuggle the shoulder blades together and bring your hands to your belly. So you wanna come into a position where you can feel comfortable and relaxed. Once you get settled in here, tuck your chin slightly to create slight length in the back of the neck and then Close your eyes, baby. Thank you for selecting this video and thank you for taking some time out of your day to reunite with your breath. I believe in the power <laughs> of reuniting with the breath and I hope this little ditty here today serves you. So with the hands on the belly, the eyelids closed and heavy. Start to notice the parts of your body that are touching the earth. And as you bring your attention or your awareness to those parts, really notice the pressure, the connection that you feel the feet, the elbows, the muscles of the back, the skull. Kind of grounding down in this moment. And then begin to bring your attention to the rhythm of your breath. And as we secure the body in stillness, let the gross body, the, the, the big picture body, remain heavy and still and see if you can allow your breath to start to move your subtle body. And if you're like, cool, got it. Great. And if you're like, what does that mean? Just explore what that could mean for you. You don't always have to know what exactly you're doing. There's a little bit of a tendency on the mat with asana and with breath to want to get it right. And so it's my pleasure to remind you that it's not about getting it right. It's about exploring, getting curious. bringing more consciousness to your breath and to your life. Hopefully by now you've started to take a couple deep inhalations, catching the wave of the breath, even if it's only once, big full inhale in, long exhale out. And then notice how a big, full, conscious breath makes you feel. And then with the eyes closed and the body nice and heavy here, just start to lift the corners of the mouth slightly and send some love out into the world uh, knowing and maybe 
just understanding, accepting, enjoying, celebrating that there are so many people practicing this very practice with you right now. And I think that's cool. So as you are uniting or reuniting with your breath here today, wherever you are in the world, you're also uniting or reuniting with people who are reuniting with their breath or their spirit. All right, go ahead and open the eyes nice and slow, bat the eyelashes open. We're gonna walk the feet all the way together now and just take the knees in the opposite direction. So you're gonna open the knees out wide. Recline the cobbler's pose as we start to open the hips let gravity do a bit of the work. We're changing the shape, so we're gonna change the breath. So interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head. You can extend your thumbs to kind of cradle the neck. You'll start to feel a stretch in the groin, the inner thigh, a stretch in the armpit chest, in the shoulder. And then start to use your breath to create more space. So breathe a nice full lateral breath into the side bodies here, to the ribs. Here we go. Deepening the breath. You can use your thumbs to gently massage the back of the head if you like. And we're just slowing things down. So it doesn't always have to be about harder, faster, stronger. The breath is the base, the baseline. Take one more deep inhale in here. Breathe into all four sides of the torso. Then as you exhale, you're gonna slowly lift the head, lift the heart, lift the shoulders, lift the elbows, and just connect to the muscles of the abdominal wall. But see if you can continue with the deep conscious breath as you do so. Breathing deep here, keeping the gaze up. Lots of space between the chin and the chest, so we're not doing a full crunch here, but keeping the neck nice and long. Challenging ourselves to breathe deep within this contraction of the core. Keeping the skin of the, the face soft and easy, jaw relaxed. Good, then take one more deep breath in here. And exhale to slowly release. You'll bring the hands to the outer edges of the legs, close the knees together, and then scoop the knees up towards the chest. Get your low back nice and flush with the mat, should feel really good. Give yourself a big hug and now breathe deep into your belly here. Nice full conscious breaths. So there's not a lot going on here on purpose so that you can reunite and focus on those deep inhalations and those long exhalations. So basically, you have to bring the breath. Take one more cycle of breath in and out. And I love this idea of cycle of breath because that's what's going on, right? Constant cycle of breath, right? If you catch yourself holding your breath, eventually you're gonna breathe again. Otherwise, what happens? You die. So keep your breath, that cycle of breath or spirit going. And then let's bring the hands to the backs of the thighs now for a little rock and roll move. You're gonna rock up and down the length of your spine. If this is difficult, no worries. I love the humility that also comes with a yoga practice especially in at-home practice when you kind of let your guard down and, and really allow yourself to be yourself. And eventually we'll meet all the way up in a nice cross-legged seat. You can take a second to move the fleshy part of the buttocks aside, find length up through the crown of the head, and then just allow your hands to rest wherever they comfortably fall, so on the knees or the thighs maybe in the lap. Excellent. 
So we have many pranayama videos on the channel. You can check them out. We have a breath of fire, skull shining breath. We have ujjayi breath. We have alternate nostril breathing. So if you want to go a little deeper learning breath techniques, I will post links to those videos in the description down below, belly breath, all of these wonderful pranayama techniques. But today it's about just returning to that relationship, that connection with a big inhale and a long exhale. So nice conscious breath. So just come into a quiet seat here. As you feel comfortable, close your eyes again, tuck your chin to lengthen through the back of the neck and try to find this lateral breath. And in fact, take your hands really fast to your rib cage here so we could play with the lateral breath. And what you want is to find this expansion of the ribs out as you breathe in and then a gentle softening as you breathe out. So let's give it a couple tries here on your own. Feeling the ribs expand and lift as you breathe in and soften and gently retract as you breathe out. And then you can keep the hands there if you really like it or allow the hands to rest gently and just keep this nice full expansive inhale going and this long slow exhalation. And then notice where your thoughts go. And remember that's all part of the game. Mind and body working together. So just acknowledge the thoughts and remember to reunite with your breath. Return to the breath. The breath always comes first. And then slowly bat the eyelashes open once again. So we're gonna end with the super duper duper simple vinyasa. And if this practice inspires you to pick up a more physical practice after this, awesome, that's what we want. But what I really want is to establish or reestablish, reunite us with the importance or the value of having a strong relationship with the breath. I mean, honestly, it has saved my life. So I think, I think it's worthy of our time. It's not always about chaturangas, right? Or So ending with a super simple vinyasa, we're gonna bring the fingertips to the sides. You're gonna pull the pinkies back just a bit so you can open up through the chest, so the heart space, and really uncrumple through the torso, right? Finding that length in the spine. On the inhale, you're gonna dial the thumbs back, pinkies forward, and slowly bring the palms all the way up, wrists over the shoulders. On the exhale, you're gonna take the palms, excuse me, thumbs forward, pinkies back, and press the palms down into the, towards the earth, fingertips kiss the ground. So the thing is you want your full inhale to fuel this gesture and you want your full exhale to fuel this gesture. And the kind of trick or challenge, loving challenge today is, I only want you to reach the fingertips up as high as your breath goes. So you can really kind of wire or rewire the brain to unite with the breath. So for example, just a little demo, in case you're like, yeah, I got this, dude, it's super easy. Pay attention. For example, the inhale down into my belly initiates my thumbs going back and I'm only gonna inhale or reach my fingertips up as far as my inhale goes. So if I inhale to my max capacity and my hands are here, this is where I'm stopping, baby. Okay, same thing on the way down. Exhale, I'm gonna try to use that breath out to empty, 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 all the way down. And if this is where I land, not here, I'm gonna stop here. So I'm gonna try to be really true to the breath, marry the breath to the movement and marry the movement to the breath. Virtual high five. Okay, here we go. Pull the pinkies back, lift your heart. Let's see what happens. Inhale, open the thumbs, reach it up high. 
Only go as far as your inhale. And then when that breath stops, you've hit the max capacity. Turn the thumbs down and in, pinkies out, palms press down and you use your exhale to float the fingertips down. Only go as far as your breath goes, empty, empty, empty. And then inhale. So keep it going. I'm not gonna cue you so that you can really practice being true to your breath. If you don't make it that high on the inhale or make it all the way down on the exhale, that's okay. That's part of this experience, part of this uh, learning process and it's definitely something I want you to experience. So I'm gonna do my own practice here. I'm gonna let you do yours and we'll see what we discover. Wherever you are, keep it going. Don't stop for these last couple rounds, the last couple cycles of breath. You might, if you're in a good place, integrate the neck or the nose. And you can think about your nose just kind of traveling in line with your fingertips, inhaling, sending the gaze up, and then exhaling gently, sending the gaze down. Don't give up, do one more cycle wherever you are. Now wherever you are, let's all together as one, inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. This time, let the palms come all the way together. Namaste, and then exhale, hands slowly melt down to your heart space. Take a second to relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, and just notice how you feel and, and allow whatever discoveries you made to just settle in here. Reuniting with the breath. Gently close your eyes, bow your head to your heart. Remember the breath is always there for you. And so am I. Love you guys. Thanks for sharing your time and energy with me and the Yoga with Adrian community. Let us know how this went for you down below, in particular this section. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Namaste.